people in the country. He's fourth nationally in ground balls right now, averaging 8.6 per game, and he's going up against Regan Enders for you, Albany. Two TD Erlin coach players, TD and assistant coach, and Regan gets that early face-off win for the Great Danes, and the team in purple and white will go on offense first. Get that ball movement and get some good looks inside like Jake Taylor did last week, getting eight goals as a career high for Notre Dame. Three goals in his career, then eight last week. Step. Outside, shot there for Hogg, and it's a goal. You Albany first on the board. Graydon Hogg gets the party started for the Dane train. Nice little step down shot from the left side, right in his comfort zone. He's able to get that, a little bit of time and space, and he makes no mistake as he puts it topside over Gavin. You can see Syracuse was pressuring the ball a little bit hard, but that's another body that Syracuse is down at the midfield, so you got a lot of freshmen stepping up here to be able to get some time for the Syracuse Orange. Outside shot low. As Buttermore lets it fly, making his first career start. He gets the early goal for SU. Jacob Buttermore, the senior, coming off ACL surgery. Missed a lot of last year. Had his first goal of the season last week. Able to get a shot here and get it on goal past Ramos to tie the score at one. Second goal of the season for Buttermore. Just with 52 on the clock. So the big matchup for Albany is going to be Elijah Gash covering Tucker Dornovic. And you can see right now he's going to make his, his life pretty miserable today, just really trying to shut him down. Curry gets inside and lets that one go top shelf. Syracuse has the lead. Brendan Curry is one of the best dodging midfielders in the country. He's fast. He can shoot with both hands. And he's one of the best shooters on the run in the country. So you can see here he gets a couple of steps, creates that separation, was able to beat Ramos stick side high there for the 2-1 lead for the Orange. A few times to Grant Murphy, he'll bring it up. It's one of the things by playing in the rain, the sticks will bag out a bit. Your shooting strings might get a little messed up. You might see some errant passes when you're playing in wet weather. As Syracuse is offside again, that's their second cause turnover there. And New Albany tries to get a quick restart here. They've got numbers on down low if they could get it there, but they're pulling it out. Shot there by Pacino. It's a pole goal. It's a juice goal versus the orange, Rich. That's what it is. We loved our pole goals. A big one there for Jake as he was left alone on the quick restart. You Albany was able to find him on the top right of the box. He had some time and space and was able to work it in there. Games with an injury. Near side is Lepetro again. He goes back out top as Pucci retreats back towards midfield. Here's Yonker. On Rosa. Switches directions. Look inside. Oh, this will wait. Just deflection. knocks it in off the stick. Just redirected it off his cross. It was an errant pass. It jammed Thistleweight on the crease. And as he pulled his cross in to snag it, it looks like it deflected off his stick and then possibly his body to beat Bobby Gavin on the short side here. Doesn't matter how it comes, it still counts as a goal. And for this, he's six foot four and full of muscles, and he can run with anybody. And this is going to be a great matchup. I know that he is excited to take on Dordovic today. If he can contain Dordovic, you Albany has a great chance to be able to take out Syracuse today. Good defensive communication between Gash and Moran there as they went around the screen. Nice move by Dordovic as he comes around the corner and knocks it home. He spun Gash completely around. 3-3 is our score. We'll take a timeout, come back, and take a look at that one. You're watching UAlbany Lacrosse here on ESPN+. Plus. Brendan, not that far behind with 81. His dad's got 93. Still time in this season. We hit the four-minute mark here in the first quarter. Another SU comes away with it. Defensive check there. The Danes turn it over in the offensive zone. Bielis with good speed getting it down into that zone. He'll give it to Siebold. Penalty coming there. Shot score. As Siebold gets the right-hander to go was shortly after the flag fell for the push or interference. That penalty should be released on the goal. We'll get the call from down below. Goal is good. Penalty is wiped out. Siebold changes direction. Makes like... Decker on that far side. 
Goes east-west across. Hogg lets it go, and it slips underneath the goal stick of Gavin. And we're all tied at four. A little bit too much mustard there. <laughs> squeezed through. I think it just squeezed off the head of his stick and went five-hole on Bobby Gavin. We'll have to take a look at the replay, but Gavin looked like he was on it, and you can see it kind of skipped off. Yeah, it went right, right yep. by. Right to that far corner out here. He gets right on goal. Ramos made the save and a quick outlet there to Hogg, who picks, picks it up ahead of steam at midfield. Hogg outside, Yunker fakes it. Back on top, Pacino, why not? He's got two! Juice goal for Jake Pacino, and the Great Danes have the 5 4 lead. Big juice goal right there again for Pacino, setting the tone for the Dane train, getting this crowd fired up. Big time pole goal. He's got two. He's leading the offense right now. He's doing everything. The transition game, such a nice pass by Ramos over the top. He gets pushed back outside. You all but has been very deliberate with their looks from the wing. They have not really attacked from X at all today. They've been really utilizing more of the wings and up top so far. Down low, quick pass there, picked up by Thistle. And he's got two. Adam Thistleway, again the beneficiary of an odd bounce. It goes right to him and he knocks it home. The play was set and it came through and it missed. And when it missed, he was in the right place at the right time. And he took great advantage of that and was able to hit that low corner. And put. you can see the pass that went inside for Hogg. That missed. And when after he did, Thistleway was able to pick that up and put it low right. Buttermore gets ha hassled there. Good work by Pepe. Good switch, good defensive communication by the Great Danes. A flag there. Gash will come in. He's on Berkman now. They'll work it all the way back around. Buttermore, dodge, shot there, score. As Buttermore came around the screen, let the right-hander go, and he's got his second goal tonight. Yeah, nice job swinging off the top there, coming towards the middle, putting that shot back towards the far pipe. You can see him come off that pick. You Albany doesn't really communicate very well on that, whether they're whether they're going or they're switching. Buttermore gets that extra step, He's going toward the middle of the field. Dunker back see. around to Pucci, nine seconds to shoot. They are playing a little aggressive on the ball, so you got to watch that skip pass. You could sometimes get that through. Pucci lets it fly, and he's got it from out top. Jack Pucci with a bouncer gets by Gavin, and you Albany's got its two goal lead back in place. That's what you got to do. Pucci got his entire frame into that one. Step down. Use the earth, use the turf right here. Got the nice 12 to six overhand, hard bouncer. Finds rope to make it seven wide. So they're playing seven on six right now as the uh, offside player stayed down there on the uh, offensive zone. Decker gets inside, shot score. Nice spin back move by the freshman as he's got his first of the night. It's a great heads up play right there. You're going, you're playing man down basically there, and they were still able to get a great look inside right on the doorstep as Decker just turns, comes around the corner, reverses direction. There's no second slide right here. Comes right inside and puts it in. And that's what we saw a little bit versus Notre Dame, that communication. Far side back behind. You can see Ramos there coming out. Like we said, he'll he'll go after that pass, and he did. If you're if you're telegraphing that pass to X, he jumped all over it. Quick as a cat getting on that pass there. Your side. Matched up with the long stick Murphy. And as you mentioned, that's not a good matchup on that long stick defender. McComber has that quips, that quick step, so when he dodges that alley, he's able to get underneath the coverage sometime. Oh, Hawk lets it fly. Nice move underneath as he shot it right under the arm of Jerry Stats, and it's a goal for the Great Danes. Boss Hogg with the hat trick for the Danes, picking up his third here on a little elevator, low to high. Graydon Hogg, shake and bake, rolls, drops the head of his stick like we talked about, brings it back up top right under the bar. And on comes Liam Ferris as well. One of the three players from the Capital Region playing on their somewhat home turf. Shot there near side as Siebold lets it go and just snuck it between Ramos and the post. 
That was all off a screen. You could tell by Will Ramos's reaction, he could not see that ball as it came off the hip of the shooter. Berkman had the defender in front of him. Ramos, no matter where he goes, not really getting any open shots. Nice look there, good spin move underneath. Step down. Decker fires to the back from 25 out. 15 yards out, I should say, fires it to the back of the net and gets the goal. U Albany back with a four goal lead, 7.30 to go here. He's got a shorty here, so this is a matchup they should try to take on. Right, it's a D midi. Stepped over, rolls the cage, shot there. And there's Hat no trick slide. goal for Decker. I was looking for the flag. There was a little push after, but Decker's got the hat trick first of his career. Smart job there to recognize the matchup opportunity. You got short, short versus a D midi. Going for the Hattie. Takes him to X, gives him a stutter step, rolls back, gets that little step. You can see Murphy started to hedge. He's got a show. Dordovic with it near side. Really hasn't even been in his, in his cross much in this half. Ball's on the ground there. You always got to sink back in there. Here you go. 20 seconds left. Down low. Shot score. Dordovic gets inside. Gets an underhander to go. And it's 11-7. You can see Tucker Dordovic trying to get these guys to go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. As he gets his second of the game there. With a nice finish on the man up on the high crease. Just hits his shot off so quickly. You can see Tanner Hayes collapsing, but he's already got that. He Sano's holding his leg there. Curry lets it go from outside, and he's got the goal, and it's 11-8. SU on the comeback with back-to-back -back goals. Yeah. Curry's able to get that ball on that far wing here, take it down that alley, as we see on the replay. And he's favoring his left hand, his left shoulder as he came out of it. Still picks it up, trips as he's falling, fires it. On the sideline, 46 seconds to go. Fast break for SU. Nice look down low and a good move by Berkman as he goes high, then low and beats Ramos. And we've got ourselves a two goal game. That's a killer goal right there for you all being to give up on the man up. Turnover right in the offensive box with 42 seconds to go here. Kennedy does a great job of corralling this ground ball and then just hightailing it upfield. Gets it over the timeline, able to move the ball, and then once he was there, they had numbers down low. Easy pass for Berkman, one-on-one, -on -one, and he's, in a he's not matched up for his cash here, but Curry has the ball, and Pisano's back in, which is good to see. Outside shot, Buttermore lets it fly from the right side. And the senior's got a hat trick, his fourth of the night. And now we're down to 11-10. 10 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's a dagger for the Danes with Buttermore stepping down and putting that shot right inside the right-hand lower corner. Real nice shot, low skip. Big face-off win by Carnes. He'll take it right down the middle. We've seen him score before, and he does it again. Huge goal by Carnes as he throws the momentum back the way of the purple and gold. That gets the Casey crowd going back into the game. Snaps the run for Syracuse. And the key for Nick Carnes there was he shot it overhand 12 to 6. We've seen him on a couple of them come down and go sidearm and that ball missed the cage. He puts it overhand 12 to 6 and is able to beat Bobby off defenders. Using them as a screen, just getting that little step and turning there went wide. Finger on Berkman. Ball deflected back. Well, Ramos wasn't sure where it was. Oh! Shot there, upper <laughs> corner. That's a beauty. That might be a sports center goal right there, folks. He had a little dangle off the loose ball. We'll have to watch this replay. As you can see, Tucker Dornovic's fired up right now as he goes to the bench trying to get his teammates fired up. The loose ball came through. Dornovic turned, dangled, rolled, and then picked up. You've got, you've got someone behind there to make sure. Corey Younger likes that spot. He knows his Spot on the field on that right-hand side. We've seen him hit that corner many a times on the man up. Whitcomb, you mentioned the America East Rookie of the Week for his three-goal, one-assist performance against UML. Down inside, lets it fly as Hogg 
The bench is electric, and Graydon Hoggs got his fourth of the game. Graydon Hogg continuing to lead the Danes offense on the man up on a nice set play. Wickham finds Hogg on the high crease. Quick inside pass. Hogg turns and fires. Get the number right, I believe, and we're good to go. Yonker down low. Good move there. Hogg inside, but Gavin. Great save. Great save. Rebound. And a goal for you, Albany. As Camden you mentioned Hay. earlier, we hadn't heard a lot from Camden Hay, but boy, when it was big time, Camden Hay showed up. Showed up at the right moment and had a big goal right there as U Albany gets a power play goal to take a three goal lead with just under four minutes to go. 21 for SU. Uh -oh. Finger gets hit hard there as he goes up to grab the ball. I saw that coming. Shot and score from the outside. As Siebold lets it fly, he's got his second of the night. Check that third of the night, and we're down to a two-goal advantage. 1.02 to go. Two needs it, but he doesn't need it. He's got open field. The arms are up as the tie rolls down. New York's college team tonight is the U Albany Great Danes. Great celebration for the team in purple and gold as for the first time they welcome Syracuse to this field and UAlbany does exactly, test what they plan to do, get the victory. It's a great day to be a Dane, Rich Becker. That indeed. 14-12 win at Casey Stadium. It's a big momentum shift for the Danes. It's a devastating blow right now for the Syracuse Orange as they fall two games below 500 with a huge schedule coming up in the next four weeks so one team is elated right now and one team is dejected but you Albany played a great game today to keep this to where it was today and come away with the victory give me one key what was the difference in this